There was a time when my friends and I mostly played one door. game, it's and that game was Dota 2. If we weren't playing it, we were looking for a group of people to play it with. We'd spend time picking the game apart, playing it back together, drawing up wish lists of new items, mechanics, strategies, and heroes. It was a game that brought a whole bunch of us together, and four years after my first game, it's a game that also tore some of us apart. It was an intense love affair, and like all affairs, it just couldn't last forever. Now it ended with me thinking that I just can't do this anymore. It wasn't you, Dota, it was me. And like a jealous ex lover, I still stalked Dota around on the internet, keeping up with the news about how the game was so successful, how popular it was, and how much better it looked with each patch. How I've been left behind, both by the game and the people who played it still. However, every now and then I'd load the game back up, give it a whirl, and find that for all the things that have changed, some key things had remained the same, and I just couldn't bring myself to play more than a few games. Now, this is the point where the Reborn update kicks down my front door, promising a potentially endless tide of new custom game modes, and a better frame rate for my toaster of a computer. And it got me interested in the game again. I realised the thing I enjoy the most about Dota is the way all these little mechanics interact with one another, and all of the possibilities that this presents. I got bored and frustrated because as I played more and more games of Dota, we all just got stuck doing certain things and a resistance to trying something new out just developed. Now while people say that if it's, bro if it's not broken, don't fix it, it became pretty apparent that this was broken. Our win rate was plummeting, victories we achieved were more down to other teams doing something stupid than us actually doing anything to try and win. The addition of custom games are, at the very least, a temporary fix to this. I'm giving space for players and modders to try new things to see me load up Dota 2 to get my overthrow fix. I've even watched more pro games. But I can't shake the feeling that this is only temporary, as already friends of friends have stated that they're not interested in playing custom games. One by one, people will go back to the core Dota 2 experience, and I'll be left behind. I want this update to succeed. I like that it recreates the days where we were free to experiment. I just don't know if it will last. Now, there's a scene in a sort of old sitcom called Space, where they're discussing a toasted sandwich maker that collects dust on top of the cupboard as a metaphor for a relationship. If not seen it, I was just going watching it, all of it, because it was bloody great. Now, my mag repurposing of it goes like this. You see Dota 2 sitting in your Steam library collecting dust, and you assume that you must not like it, because if you did like it, you'd still be playing it. And one day you decide to load it up and try it again, and it's great. You play every kind of game you can with it, invite friends to join your Dota 2 party, and it's all lovely. And then one day you put the game back on your shelf, and you know what happens? You don't miss it. <laughs>